Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Floor Planner. This is your monthly video on updates. My name's Bob, and as we always say, hey, I am here for customer success. I'm here for you all to keep you informed on new tools that came out last month for the month of April. So uh, let's get started. Let's again remind you, where do you find those updates? Because they're actually posted on your home page, on your dashboard, when you're actually in your floor planner platform. And to do so in the far upper left-hand corner, if we go ahead and hit our profile tab, there's four squares up there, which tells you all about your account. On the right-hand side, there is in the lower right-hand corner, um, these new features right here. Um, and the most current feature would be listed here at the top. These are uh, little video clips um, from our uh, wonderful team of programmers over in the Netherlands. Um, but if you wanna see all of them, to do a little recap, uh, go ahead and hit the more button up here and that more button will take you to a new tab on your window where you can actually review all of the updates that have occurred you know, in the past, the past year or so. Um, maybe cruise through those, take a look, see what's occurred, but we're gonna take a look and see what's happened for the month of April for sure. Uh, we left off last time. Uh, we were talking about uh, back in March uh, about the change of materials, the feature for the thresholds, the bottom of your uh, doorways or the open entryways, that threshold transition between the two different floor materials, uh, which used to always be white, which now has the ability to change materials. Kind of cool. Now let's cruise up here and see what else has happened for the month of April. We're going to talk about two new updates that have occurred. Um, one is that there have been some visual tweaks to our interface, nothing crazy, uh, but you might be picking up on a, a little bit of change and difference out there. And then the second that we're going to talk about is about the floor scanner. Uh, hopefully you've had a chance to take a peek at that since we've released floor scanner, the floor scanner app. Uh, spend a little extra time on that also because uh, there's a new offering from that also. So let's take a look at these uh, visual tweaks. Uh, yeah, we did a bit of spring cleaning. Yep. And refresh the look of many of our interface elements like buttons and texts and icons. Um, just a, a nice, a nice refreshing and maybe it helped clarify you know what you're looking at uh, visually for more intuitive uh, work as you keep uh, advancing your technique with floor planner so let's go ahead and go back to the dashboard maybe take a peek at some of those real quick um, okay okay and go into my projects over here and let's uh, let's at least go ahead and just open up a project for a second take a peek out to the cloud, open up a project, and uh, some items that I think you're going to notice for sure. And again, nothing nothing crazy, um, but icons that you might have been used to before. And even when I keep talking in my training and webinars, I keep saying, oh, yes, go over here to the left-hand sidebar and go up to the hammer. Well, the hammer's still there. It's, it's just a hammer and a wrench now, <laughs> so an extra tool. Uh, but it's just that the icon has changed, um, not the structure of how you're actually running your interface. Um, I think we've also got now the, the chair has been modified. And of course, we do know that that's where our furniture is stored, uh, the three-dimensional assets for furniture. But don't forget, that's not just furniture in there. That's all of those additional 3D assets. Um, but this, it's, it's items like this that you're going to see a little bit of a change. I'm not going to go ahead and seek out all of them, but um, I don't think you'll have any difficulty with that except to enjoy the fact that it is a nice new refreshed look. Uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the other update that's out there for... floor scanner. So um, I think I threw together a little PowerPoint presentation. So let's hop into that for a second. See if we can view this. Same little message out there that we had online. Uh, floor scanner updates. Yeah, based on our users' feedback, like yourselves, um, we've made a couple of improvements to our floor, floor scanner app. Yay. Um, you can now make your scan offline. 
So you don't have to be you know, connected to the internet at that moment um, when you're actually doing your physical scan with your app and using your device. And then you can send it out for processing later. So you don't have to conduct that at the exact same time that you're doing the scan. You can actually do it later when you're uh, connected to your Wi-Fi connection. Because I think we had some people that you know possibly were not connected to a Wi-Fi on site. Um, also, your first scan, this is a really cool offering. Your first scan is now free of charge, the scan part of it. Um, but the project that has to be created to house that scan, there is still the two credit charge for that. So you need to have those credits available for that scan. So it's the complement that goes with it. Typically, the uh, actual scan of just the room uh, is, is typically 12 credits currently. And then there's the additional two credits on top of that for the project that you created, which makes 14 credits total. But in this offering right now for your first scan to get you an introduction and get you friendly, you know, get comfortable utilizing uh, the floor scanner app um, is free. Uh, so check out the app. There's a link to the app in there also. And always remember that, uh, of course, you're working with iPhone Pro only for now. Um, as we keep talking, Floor Planner keeps advancing. So keep watching for the new technology and how these uh, modifications keep going forward, which is why we give you these videos currently. Um, so really, really cool offering right there. And I'm just going back to my previous intro webinar uh, that we actually did this uh, little PowerPoint presentation just to refresh that maybe, you know, maybe this is your first time understanding or being aware of the floor scanner. Maybe you might have missed that previously. Um, I've just updated my PowerPoint presentation a little bit because the icon also changed. We, you know, we've got a little, <laughs> everything got refreshed. So here's the new logo actually for the floor scanner. And this is the original introduction of the floor scanner, but remember the notations in the, that uh, currently it's working with iPhone 12 and 13 Pro and iPad Pro uh, because it's the light, lighter, light, LiDAR system that's inside of it that's actually making the scan work for you. And this was the demo that I did before of a room that I had existing, a single bedroom. And I did record, this is previous, um, just to showcase you know, how it actually worked. So a little demo. Um, I cropped down the video uh, a little bit just so we don't uh, run into the full time that it took to do the scan. For this one room, it, it took me um, eight minutes uh, total. I mean, it's pretty cool. But just to give you a refresher as to what that is. So again, you're looking at an image, a video recording of my iPhone, uh, which is a, a Pro 12. And so I'd say, hey, Bob, you know, here, here you are again. We're going to go ahead and get started. Oop, that was what just received the order. Excuse me. Go backwards. Ooh. Try it again. Hello. There we go. This is how we start up. So it starts actually showcasing your account, the credits that you have available, or if you need to purchase credits. And then going forward, making your decision as to are you doing the basic or the advanced. Basic will actually capture the walls, doors, and windows and the number of floors that you're creating. And let's go forward. And of course it wants to know the project name. So you wanna go ahead and give your project a name for the scan. So we're gonna go ahead and type that in. I called it test scan two. Yeah, what's that? Cause that says, hey, start, start scanning. You're literally going to just press the red button and you're going to utilize your phone and its camera feature and actually just move your, your phone around as you would with the camera that you're actually going to be scanning the room and you'll see the color blocking on that. Kind of like a gaming environment. Once it gets started, hit the button and there you go into the room and all of a sudden you start getting the polygon counts of how the... Uh, camera's actually viewing the room with the polygons. And what you're trying to do is take all those black areas, kind of like a game, you're actually just moving your camera, your, your phone around or the camera of, of your phone and colorizing those squares just by pointing at them. And just to give you a little demo of how that's going, just as I just moved the angle of my, my phone and my camera, I was just pointing around the room and just filling in the black squares. 
And this is capturing. This is actually scanning the room, trying to figure distances and, and dimensions so we can gather this information to be sent back out into the cloud. Oops, stop for a second there. And there we go. There's our quick, that, again, I jumped over time a little bit. This whole entire entity took about eight minutes or so. And once it's captured, it's like, okay, so it sends it out to the cloud, says your order to the test scan has been received and it's currently being processed. Um, so again, with a new feature, you can do the scan not being connected to the Wi-Fi. Then you can actually go ahead and upload this as I did here to go ahead and upload it later once you have a Wi-Fi connection. So that's a brand new feature um, with Floor Scanner. And then once you get back, you get this notification once it's complete. Um, I know we've, we're still talking probably like two to three days to get this back to you. Um, although I had, a, I had a very exceptional experience with this one room scan that I did, it came back that same day. Um, so timing, it's, it's improving with time as you're getting it faster and faster. Um, but this is what you get back. It's, this is a quick image in the email that comes back to you. This is the scan uh, as the two-dimensional project that was created as a floor planner project. And I'll also show you the 3D model that was created. The accuracy with this for the demo that I uh, actually took, uh, I was really impressed. It, uh, the, the, I re-verified the length and width of the room and uh, it was literally within a half an inch. Um, so. You can also modify that once you have the project and it's already been addressed, you can verify, just make sure everything's good. And if you want to tweak it a little bit, you can also, it's a model at that point, you can adjust it accordingly. Um, but the accuracy, I was, I was super impressed with it. Um, and I played with it a little bit just for the fun as, uh, you know, we talked about uh, room style. With Employer Planner, you've got the room type that a room is being identified as what kind of room have you structurally created? Is it a living room? Is it a dining room? That's, that's a room type. It's an identification of that space. But there, beyond that, there's the room styles that can be actually associated with a room type. So if you created a bedroom and you called it out as a bedroom, yay. Um, you can create collections of furnishings that go ahead, pro levels and higher can make your own custom collections of room styles. And I just thought it'd be fun since I already did the scan of the room. I've got the room as a project and floor planner. It's identified as a bedroom. I thought, well, I'll go out there and find myself a collection that was put together in room style and just go ahead and see how fast we can just go ahead and deposit it straight into the room. And this is right out of the box. Uh, this collection that I went ahead and assigned just as a room style to the room, I didn't populate this. This was the collection already predetermined. And with the algorithms that run inside room style, you actually placed the furnishings in the room. I, again, I did nothing other than just say, assign this room style to the room. And this is what I got back. And then I just ran the render on it. It's pretty cool. I mean, the accessories, everything just came in as a collection. And the fact that it's, it's that easy. So that's, that's kind of the whole language uh, starting from, you know, gathering your information of the room structure through floor scanner and then taking it as a project that is being created in Floor Planner, and then start talking about the room type and the room style by collections of furnishings. Like I said, pro accounts and higher can build your own custom collections of furnishings as you care to and repeat them and, and use them on a steady basis. Um, I hope you don't mind the little refresher. I just want to make sure that those who maybe didn't know about Floor Scanner got a little refresher to see, you know, how, how does it work? Um, but the new benefits out there with the new features uh, for April, awesome, awesome. Hope you have a lot of fun uh, taking a peek at both of the new updates that have been added to Floor Planner and uh, look forward to you. Go ahead and um, visiting me during my live webinars on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Of course, on your dashboard in the upper right-hand corner, do you have a registration for that? They are free. And uh, we always like to keep giving you the best information. Thanks again for seeing me again today. And I'll see you again in the future. Thank you so much. Take care.